Welcome to another edition of the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where it's always prolific, consistent, and dedicated with a major backstage update as it concerns Ryback, his push, and what the WWE has planned for him coming up. Now, WWE may be splitting up the team of Ryback and Curtis Axel sooner rather than later. There was rumors a few days ago, which I gave my view and opinion on, I reported it, that WWE was tossing around the possibility of giving Ryback another strong singles push and further establishing him as a top main event star um, and contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And once again, you know, everyone's saying, oh, I hope this is true. I hope this happened. There's some fact. I hope there's some validity behind this. Well, like I said, Sean's Entertainment, you know, from his sources and what he hears and what he sees, I may not be right all the time. But there are some times if you go back and you look in the history and you look at the significance and you look at what I bring you and you look at what I present you, I may not be spot on all the time, 110%. But who is? The bottom line is this is something that the WWE is manufacturing. This is something the WWE is thinking about. And Ryback is a guy that should have never had the rug pulled from underneath him. Ryback was on a strong push. We already know the Ryback story. He came in looking dominant. He looked like a strong force. And then they turned him heel. And then it just was a downward spiral after that. So I think Ryback is going to make the most of this opportunity. The big guy once again getting a chance to shine at a top main event level. And you know the fans actually on Monday Night Raw was it main event. I think they were starting to chant feed me more when Ryback was in action and you can almost see uh, you know where Ryback and Curtis Axel are running into some troubles there's there's some heat there's some friction between those two and those two will probably br be breaking up let's just hope that the WWE makes Ryback a good guy and Curtis Axel the bad guy and maybe even get a little mileage out of a feud between Axel and, and, and Ryback so you know I think this is like a like I said a good step moving forward in, in the uh, resurgence of Ryback's career. And I think it would just be a plus moving moving forward for him. We're not on here to say, you know, he's the best wrestler of all time, the most finely tuned and whatnot. But Ryback doesn't have to be. He's strong. He, he's forceful. He's dominant. He's not a guy that's made to go in there and do flips and backflips and jumps and hoo-ha, hoo-ha. No, he's not about that. He's not an Evan Bourne. He's, he's not a Justin Gabriel. So your comments, your opinions on Ryback's WWE push coming up. Subscribe.